Great to have your company as we establish our quarterfinals here at the Boost, Boost Mobile. Margaret River Pro presented by Corona. John John Florence will take on Griffin Cola Pinto. Geordie Smith up against Ryan Callanan. And Seth Horner is the big story this morning, overcoming Gabriel Medina. And he will take on the winner of heat number six, Matthew McGilvra. As it's a low. Wow, there's a bit going on out there, Ron. <laughs> Plenty going on with the uh, overlapping heats. As it's a low, loads up, goes looking for the air, and he'll stick it. So clean, so reliable with those moves. Sure is. And he'll ride on out. What a way to start his heat. Have a look at this first one. So he, wow. he went to left, and Gabriel just thought he was uh, heading his way in. He had to get out of the way. Quick sticks. Italo, once he started streaking down the line, we knew what he was going to do. Who did, nice looking air for any uh, mere mortal. Who did he fake? Who did he fake? He <laughs> left on that one. I'm not actually sure. I think it might have been uh, might have been either Kaya or uh, Kanoa. Maybe I'm not too sure. Oh, okay. Cheeky. Cheeky. That was a uh, pretty amazing. He was able to get back up into the lip here for that finish. But uh, as Taj pointed out, just absolutely hammering every single wave that comes his way, and there were just tentative moments in that heat. Yeah, it's amazing he couldn't find a four in 40 minutes as we see Kayo. First wave of this heat for him, is it? Well, Kayo's uh, up against Italo. Italo dropping a very impressive full rotation backside air at the start of the heat, but only managed a 4.4 out of it. One point that he made that I, I really loved is there'll never be a ceiling on the, the combination of monster manoeuvres. Maybe we'll get to a point where big individual turns count for something, but if you can piece a couple of those together, that, that's really the future of the sport. Yep. And guys like Italo are leading that charge, but a more traditional approach on that wave, Rich, and, and some very powerful dynamic turns. Very, very critical, and I don't know if there's anyone in the field on the backhand on these right-handers. And this was that last ride, impressive. Two big turns, well, he just stretched that one out accidentally, but pulled it back under his feet, finished with another big bang. So yeah, that's kind of what the judges want. Maybe just feeling like there was a touch too much rail, perhaps going for something a little bit smaller as we see Kaio just overextending on that one. In turn, these waves really seem to suit the rookie as Kaio Belli looks to get his campaign started here against Italo. Wow, he's going fast. Drives up into this section, nice section to work with. This and a swift combination there. He'll bring it through to the inside. Wow, nice work. He had a lot of speed then. Didn't know what to do with it. Almost had too much speed for the size of his board, it looked like. But he managed to wipe off a bit of speed and fit in a few nice turns. Really turn up against the big names. So I'm expecting a spirited performance here. Absolutely. That's what he's famous for, isn't it? He really turns it on when he has to. And I think he might have... Yeah, he fit a lot of turns on this one. Five turns. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to be well rewarded. Fun to watch. Well, Two different approaches. Kaya. A 5.1 on his last ride. So it was a, a big advantage for Italo on finding those two big sections on a, a wave that closed out. And Kaya not really getting that credit for the multiple manoeuvres, but we had a feeling as that wave was a, a little disjointed. Still plenty of time for him, though. Nine and a half minutes to go in heat number six. And we've seen some big heats go down this morning. John Florence aiming for the top end of the leaderboard. Well, that was nice. This is uh, the 2019 world champion. Ooh. Doing his thing. Already has a 7.67. And this should go into his top two. It'll be better than his opening ride, the 4.4, which he's currently hanging on to. Yeah, that's the goal. But there's not that many. So you kind of got to take what you get. But that's if you could choose, you, you really want the ball. See what Kyo can do with this one. Yeah, big first turn, nice and vertical, fading back to set up a, another oh. big turn on the outside there. That was Two a tough cars. one to ride. Yeah, just didn't get to that finish. Zipped out of it. Here goes uh, Italo. Late takeoff, but it sets up a big vertical approach. Goes to a carving option. Out onto the face again, whipping off the top. And into the pocket one more time. Nice. Clean surfing. Trying to get rid of a six there. He likes <laughs> a little, little mini shucker. Yes. That's great. You'd have to zoom in to get a good look at it. <laughs> that was two really good waves then. I love that carve that uh, Matt McGilvray connected with. That was beautiful. Mate, yep, huge fan of surfing, especially competitive surfing. And I'm having a great time watching as well as being in here with you guys as we see Italo. He's got a couple of scores under his belt. Don't know what he's doing on that thing. 
<laughs> yeah, an eight one seven <laughs> on his previous ride. And he is out there just looking to, to really put the torch under Kaio Abelli. Kaio is surfing very well, but just hasn't been able to get out of that, that mid-range score, a uh, 5.1, his best. You and he's got work to do. He, he's chasing a two-wave title of 15.84 already. And he is uh, putting together a, a pretty healthy heat score total, and he's still got 17 minutes to max it out. Kaio Abelli trying to get himself back in this heat. He's got to reset. He's after a two-wave total to get in front. He's got a good-looking wall here. And let's go of a great carve to get started. Whipping through another nice turn, setting up the inside track. Nice little float there. Oh. Doesn't quite get on top of the section to finish this right off the way he would have liked. But it will probably be one of his better waves, Rich. Wow, he did so much. Great work on that, uh, on that wave, that three-turn combination. Um, as well as, you know, really put the power on the bigger stuff. Here we see Italo. I think he goes for a big air reverse on the end of this one. A couple of nice snaps to start with. He's got two good scores, so why not throw himself at this section? Bang! Oh. Beautiful landing. Even oh, even with those, those little strong little drumsticks, it was a pretty <laughs> pretty intense landing. Unfortunately, just... He landed in a funny spot on his board and it made him kind of pull through the back, but... It, big impact. Jeez. Technique-wise, that was absolutely flawless. Uh, Just that he overextended a little bit and landed out on the flat. Lot, as we see Italo on the replay, Rich. Yeah, so Italo just blasting off the top there. And there's that speed that we were talking about. Look nice. how fast he comes out of these turns. So three bangers on that one. Yeah, he looks strong. Here we go. What's he got? Kayo just really looking to salvage some pride here with a strong finish. He loves the, the tube. Deep in the tube. Won't find his way through this one, though. He gets taken down. A strong performance from the 2019 world champ. He's into the quarterfinals now. We say goodbye to Kayo Belli.